All right, so in this example, we'll see some where we can kind of, it's kind of like we're factoring out something out of this square root stuff. And since it's a square root for this one, we only need a pair, but let's, let's go ahead and combine these two first. So this is a 5x times a 7x. So it's the square root of 5. I'm just going to move these around. Not everyone needs this step, by the way. That's a 5. So it's the square root of 35x squared. So uh, 35, if we were going to split this up, again, we can make this a 7 and 5. There's no pairs there to pull out. Um, but what we can do is this x squared, since it's being multiplied by that x squared, it's kind of like we're reversing the rule. Uh, so in other words, I'm going to break this apart so that I have the square root of 35 times the square root of x squared. Well, at this point, uh, the square root of x squared is just x now. And I've got square root of 35 times that x. But notice the, that x is not in the square root anymore. So formally, we would want to move that to the front using the commutative property of multiplication and make that an x times the square root of 35. 